Father oh. Mauro is the craziest. My mom, Maria. Miriam, she is oh, Miriam. the chillest person ever. YouTube original. Keeping up with the Meccano. I'm really, really Madeco. close to my family. I never forget where I come from, who I am, because my family, they just treat me exactly the way they used to when I was just me. My father, oh. Mauro, is the craziest. When he was the provider of the family, he was so stressed. And when I was like nine years old, I used to say, in the end, everything is gonna be great. And then, when I became the provider of the family, like screaming like he used to do, do this, do that, oh my God. He just looks at me and say, chill out daughter, in the end, everything is gonna be fine. Wow, I wanna kill him. Oh my goodness. I mean, like, not all the fathers are like that kind of person, but um, for sure everyone else, including you, your father, your dad, your mother and your father are always something like that. But when you already achieve success, they change. I mean, like, why do parents are like that? My mom, Miriam, she is Miriam. the chillest person ever. If I come to her with the worst news, my mom will be like, oh. And if I come um. with the best news ever, she's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, they are totally opposite. I wish I was like this. <laughs> Renan. Renan is, is her brother. Is her bigger brother, elder brother. He's very responsible. He's my balance. In the beginning of my career, I mean, I didn't have money to pay people to work for me. And uh. he was the DJ. He was the driver. He was pretending he was the manager. <laughs> it was a crazy partnership. They're like a kind of family. I mean, it doesn't start with just her being alone. My brother Felipe. Felipe I so wait, she has two brothers, right? Met him two years ago. Even my dad, he didn't know about him. It was before he met my mom. But his mom, Felipe's mom, she saw me and my dad on television, and she was like, "Wow, this is your dad," which is very crazy. Wait, is it that kind of incidental or accidental? Kind of having a stepbrother. This story looks like a movie. So, so wait, there are like one, two brothers and uh, a sister. My brother, he has a daughter. She dances. Oh. She's full of attitude. Niece. Oh, she has a like niece. A whole Begin. body language. And they were like, her personality has nothing to do with any one of this family. <laughs> and then when they figure out I was the aunt, they were like, wow, now. Everything makes sense because this girl <laughs> is your copy. It's oh really? I mean, like she's a kind of um, expressive uh, kind of uh, girl. She copied from her aunt. Crazy. Also. Oh wait, there are a lot of family members in the family of Anita. They're like a kind of I can see uh, twenty. Sure. My aunties and my uncles are very important to me. They raised me. Uh, as same as my mother and my dad. They cussed on my outfits and when I didn't have money mm. to pay for catering to the music videos, they used to cook for them. So <gasps> it's a whole uh, wow. supportive. I mean, like, really, the family really supported her uh, with a kind of little effort. It makes big sense. I mean, family. released, can't music. Uh, uh, that was Anita. And let's now jump on to another kind of interview, Billboard interview. Hello, oh, wow. I'm here. I'm super excited. I'm gonna sing Medicina and my my presentation is so cute. Wait, uh, first of all, I do like her outfit. It's kind of way because I do really love the bangs. It suits her. I didn't notice that it Why? Why? Did, what's well. gonna happen? Because mm. it's like uh, we're gonna do a, a, cup, a, a little bit of the video, which I had when I have a lot of children with me dancing and I have a lot of girls dancing with me. It's so cute. I mean, I love that kind of music, Medicina. If you guys have heard it, I've heard it. It is a lot of funk. And you know medicina. that the entire show is about female empowerment. Yeah. All the women are, are, there's only women house. You've been very much in the foreground of female empowerment. So what did you think of this show? I mean, like, did they really <laughs> chose to uh, become uh, compatible with the callers? I mean, like, the interviewer and uh, Anita are like, did they have that kind of meeting where they chose the same 
color palette. I think it's amazing to get voice for the women. Um, sometimes people don't realize how different it is when you are a woman in this business. And I'm really happy to be part of this. And I'm really happy that I have girls, female children. <laughs> and oh, so she's like um, that kind of music really caters women for power. I mean, women empowerment. My presentation, dancing and singing with me. And I'm sure all your fans want to know what's your next Latin collaboration coming up. Well, my next collab is going out tomorrow with Gracie. She's a, a Colombian singer, pretty, pretty, pretty. And then it's me with... I mean, wait, she, Anita, is growing up with collaborations. I cannot really pretend that it's not effective. It's really effective. I mean, collaborations with other artists like Anita and Pablo Vitar. Myself. <laughs> You're with yourself, very good. And then uh, just a couple of weeks ago, it was you and Camila Cabello in Brazil. Oh, uh, Camila yeah, Cabello. Cam How do you say Camila Cabello? Camila is amazing. She's a really good friend. She's pretty. She's cute, sweet girl. And she was in Brazil performing and invited me for her concert. It was amazing. My All her fans got crazy. Do you think you're going to record with her? Are there plans? Oh, we're, we've been talking about it. I hope yes. I love her. Camila. Miss you. <laughs> and your fans wrote in, they want to know what your workout routine is. Oh, I would want to know, um, I mean, like that kind of plastic surgery routine. <laughs> no, of course. Anita is, I don't see Anita as a kind of a plastic surgery product, but she's a kind of workout product because I've seen her twerk her butt. I mean, like, she's like, Mm, it's really fun. I mean, you can do exercise a lot. Like Anita really hits a lot of exercise, of what, course. What, sorry? How you work out? How, what do you do to work out? I don't. <laughs> oh, you don't work out. Today really? I got, today my lunch was hamburgers and oh. french fries and milkshake. <gasps> and I have no time to work out. So I just oh. dance. And I oh, much. that's really a workout, though. Dancing is a workout. That's I mean, it. Mm. very good. And Halloween is around the corner. What's going to be your Halloween costume today? Tonight, I'm talking about my custom, but some people don't know about it. I'm gonna dress like Elvira, Mistress of Dark. I love it. Yeah, oh, I love, love it, too. it too. Some people are like, "Who is Elvira?" I said, "How don't you know?" No, we know Elvira. Uh, of course, Elvira, Mistress of Darkness. That's gonna. Oh, that's a Mistress of Darkness. I've have never. Maybe she's a Mistress of Darkness in Brazil. <laughs> I've uh, never heard it from uh, United States of America, but she's a Mistress of Darkness. Okay, so, looking forward to your performance tonight at the Latin AMAs por Telemundo. Por yes, Telemundo. Sí. Gracias. Thank you so much. I'm here. So proud. So happy to be representing Brazil. Kisses for you. And don't, don't waste your time. Go to Telemundo and see me singing, performing Medicina. <gasps> I mean, Telemundo is one of the biggest TV shows or TV. What was that? TV channel in the whole world. I mean, like I've watched Telemundo with Miss Universe. Oh, my goodness. They're really fabulous. Anyway, so that's it for tonight. I do hope you like this video. And if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, dislike. Comment down below or hit me with another suggestions. What do you think? I must react on the next video. See you again on my next vlog. Have a nice day.